Welcome to Firebase release notes for December, where we cover recent big and small updates from Firebase. Now we have eight topics today, so let's dig in right away. As announced on demo day, Duet AI is coming to Firebase to help you build your apps even faster and better than before. It is in early preview right now, and it's rolling out to the first external testers in January. If you want to learn about such preview releases going forward and help us shape Firebase, join our alpha program with the link that I included in the description below. When you enable point-in-time recovery on your Firestore databases, it makes a backup copy of every document that you change or delete and keeps that around for seven days. One way to then recover that document version is by performing a so-called still read, which you can do by passing in a specific read time to the usual API calls that we see here. This feature was in preview, but it's now been promoted to general availability, and it's ready to use in your production apps. Marina is recording a deep dive video on this, so check back here in a few weeks to learn more. In version 12 of our admin SDK for Node.js, we added API calls for the server-side SUM and average operators in Firestore. This API was already available in most of our SDKs, but you can now also perform these calculations in Node.js code. We also updated the Firestore dependencies of our admin SDK for Node.js so that you can now access non-default Firestore databases there too. So lots of goodies, so upgrade today to the latest version of our admin SDK for Node.js. On the Android side of Firestore things, our engineers just fixed an issue that was causing the SDK to read more documents than needed from the server. With this fix, the SDK now only downloads the documents that are known to be out of sync. So upgrade today to get faster reads and lower bills. Also on the Android SDK, we've now deprecated the fetch sign-in methods for email API. We no longer recommend depending on this functionality in your apps, as it exposes your users to email enumeration attacks. But speaking of which, you can now enable or disable our built-in protection against email enumeration attacks right from within the Firebase console of your project, as you can see here. We also just added an API to our JavaScript and Android SDKs to revoke sign-in with Apple tokens. The API was already in our SDK for iOS and other Apple platforms, so it's now available on all major platforms. And finally, the remote config panel in the Firebase web console now better supports keyboard navigation. This touches the parameter list table and the list of conditions that we see here. Now, this may not affect most of us, but it's part of our ongoing drive to improve the accessibility of our console, which also included the launch of the dark mode that I mentioned last month. Those were all the updates we have time for today and for this entire year. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. Now, my name is Frank, or Puff, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.